Volta Region Students Association of Ghana. Today, picketed at the Ghana Education Service, demanding an immediate recall and destruction of books that have been widely criticized for containing uh, what they describe as bigoted information about others. According uh, to the students, they will embark on an exercise to find and destroy these books if the Ghana Education Service fails to heed their call. Uh, the publications, uh, History of Ghana, textbook three by Bidun Kansa, publications authored by Bidun Kansa and Nelly Martins Nenim, and Golden English Basic Four, authored by Ochil Berfi, have both been denounced by the National Council for Curriculum Assessment as not approved for use in schools. Kweko Asante has more. Here's his report. We in public uproar about a textbook that has been described as bigoted and putting out negative impression about Evers. The Volta Region Students Association, VOSA, are demanding action from the Ghana Education Service and the National Council for Curriculum Assessment. Here is Bright Achu Agbechise, a leader of the VOSA delegation that picketed at the GES head office. Our chiefs and elders have actually intervened and they have asked us to you know, refrain from what we wanted to do today. But we as leadership have decided to take this step. Now, one of the publishers, Bedouin Cancer, actually released a so-called apology letter yesterday. And the fact is that that apology letter is an eyesore to us. Why did I say so? How could you write an apology letter? And in an apology letter, you are trying to justify how the books found their ways into the public domain. So they claim that, this is what they claim, they claim that they were working on the books. GAs are written to them for them to make some changes. Then they didn't know how the books found its way into the public domain. I don't know how that makes sense to any of you here. If an owner of a book and a, 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 publication, a, a, a publisher who is supposed to actually own whatever content that he has found his materials in you know, bookshops and he's making money out of it, and at the end of the day, the person is now telling us that we are going to make what we are going to conduct investigations into whatever it is. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's the apology is an insult. According to Deputy National Youth Organizer of the NDC, Eric Edemagbana, who accompanied the students to picket at the Ghana Education Service, there is an attempt by some to change the history of the country. If in 14 days, our chiefs and our MPs and the stakeholders do not communicate to us a substantive evidence that indeed all the books have been withdrawn from the market and they have been burnt. We will go into shops, we will go and seize the books and burn it. So in 14 days, we can have this conversation again. We, the youth, will not allow anybody to change Ghana's history. What is all this political revisionism is about? What is it? What is the benefit? Why do you want to sow a seed of discord among the people of Ghana? We have lived together. We've lived in boarding houses. We attend the same colleges. We share dormitory with each other. You see my president, he's wearing smoke. He's the president of the Volta Students Association, but he's wearing smoke because through integration, we've come to accept that the food that we eat, the, 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 the dresses we wear and whatever, we are one people. Okay. Why is the government, okay. through some publishers, trying to push some narrative mm. down there? We will not accept it. So. We are here to make peace. We are only here to make our petition known. They also want the publishers of such materials to be penalized. They have the tendency of creating some level of prejudice, prejudice in the mind of this student at this young level. And if they grow up with this prejudice, they have the tendency of bringing about a national disintegration, which does not augur well for development. And so there's the need for us to come out now and to stop this and to call out these publishers for them to be penalized. Because I've seen a, a letter from the publishers indicating that the, 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 the books were not meant for the public domain. And so they cannot tell how come it's got its way into, the, into maybe uh, the public space. But it, it does suggest that they are unable to take responsibility for their work. The Volta Region Students Association are calling on the Ghana Education Service as well as NACA to immediately get rid of these books in the system, these books that they've cited and are complaining that are portraying a certain image about the people of the Volta region, which is completely erroneous. They are saying that 
in 14 days if the Ghana Education Service as well as NACA do not ensure that these books are in no books shops in Ghana as well as no classrooms or any school, they are going to take certain actions. They are going to enter schools and seize these books or enter bookshops and seize them and burn them. For these students, there are some lapses in the curriculum approval process which must be dealt with immediately. These are books okay, that has content that seeks to paint a particular, uh, you know, picture and impression about a particular group of people, specifically the, the, the people of the Volta region, that we are, we are purported to be people who you know, foster ethnocentric tendencies, people who are inward looking. That is not the impression, that is not the image of the Voltarian people. Right, let's speak to Mark Osei. Uh, he's a spokesperson for Bidun Kansa Publications. Mr. Osei, thank you for your time with us. Hello, uh, can you hear us, uh, yeah. Mark Osei? Yeah. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Thank you for your time with us. Now, uh, people say I am inward looking and very tribalistic. Yes, it's true. This is in your, your, your book. You are describing the other people. Where, where from this? How is this information academically verified? Yes. Um, that's why we have released a statement apologizing on that aspect of the book, especially page 15 of history of um, primary period. So, so you are apologizing for, for, for putting that information in your book? Absolutely. Yeah. How did this mistake come about? Who, who made the I mistake? Think, um, we, we, we have spoken to our writers of those books and we, we, we as a company have tried to apologize and that matter. We yes, I, to comment it further. Yeah, because I, I, we do I, not have any story or any uh, uh, information to justify whatever came out on that. Right. Now you're the publishers. So, so when you received the script uh, to publish and you saw this, you thought it was okay to go ahead with it, or did you miss it? Did you not see it at all? Yeah, this is not a final product. This particular is not a final product. You know, before all this comes out, we go to see the project, and we are of the view that before the initial stage, that's why this thing came But it has already been taken off from the final week. So, so you are saying that this was not made available to the public. How did how did we get to see it? How how did it come into the public domain? We, we printed a sample, a sample, uh -huh. and those things find those materials found in the sample, and which are yeah. So uh, before you printed that sample, uh, did you miss these particular remarks in the script? Of course, they are in the script, and that's how you are really statement. So you missed them. That's why you have I'm so sorry. The line is not very clear, so we're struggling to hear what you're saying. Are you saying that you missed them completely, or you thought? I said that, 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 that we approach the writers and they have we ask them to take these things off. And I said this is not the final. This is not the final uh, project. This is not the final. Yes, but it's a sample that you printed. Your, your, publi yes. your publication yes. house printed it. You read yes. through the script, and you felt it's okay to print this in your sample. And I'm asking you, I mean, was it because you missed this comment? You didn't see th th these particular comments? Or did you see them and thought it was still okay to print them in your sample? No. We, 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 I, I would not want to say we missed it, but we find it inappropriate. Uh, you're, you're not quite answering my question, sir. It must be one of the two. Either you missed it, you didn't see it at all, or you saw it and I thought it was It's not okay. appropriate for us to, you know, come kind of justify whatever went on, especially on that, especially page 15 or Right. And especially, let me also make this clarification. There are uh, certain separations in the media. Then maybe I did two different stories. Ours is different from the golden, golden, um, golden, uh, I was just, I was talking about the, the song, and that's what we are dealing with. And the statement does not um, condone all those things, but 
since a lot of people are mixing the subject on those two books, how is it different from the coding subject? Right. Um, so, so at this point, uh, you are you're going to withdraw the entire product. Absolutely. Right. And and what sort of quality control measures are you going to put in place to ensure such a thing doesn't happen again? We have already uh, made up the organization, and we have um, decided to take the next action. This sort of things will not come again. because. Balloon cancer has been in the system for the last 24 years. We have not had issue with any Ghanaian, any section of this country. We believe in unity. So this thing coming out, is, we get we, we get it. So what's going to happen to the authors who have brought this uh, <laughs> this There'll be national sanctions. headache uh, on, the, on the, you? The company, the company will, will, will take copy sanctions. What will the sanctions be? What will you do to them? That, that, will, be, that will be at the management level. When we, meet and we will communicate that to the public. Okay, so in such a situation, what are the options of sanctions available to you? What, what are the... Yes, I think obviously you, you, you work and you get paid. What you decide to dismiss you, that we will not work with you. Okay, is that what's going to happen? Are you going to dismiss these authors? Absolutely, they will do that. Okay. Okay, now we're, jo we're, we're joined on the phone by Kofi Asari. He's the executive director. Please stay with us, by the way. Uh, um, Mr. Kofi Asari uh, is executive director, Africa Education Watch. He joins us via Zoom. Uh, thanks for the correction. Mr. Asari, thank you for your time with us. Good morning. Hi. Good, af good afternoon. Uh, forgive good me. afternoon, uh, rather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, good afternoon to your cherished audience. All right. Now, um, uh, Mr. Asari, you've just heard uh, the representative of um, the publishers saying they are sorry. They've apologized. They are also going to take measures. They're going to fire the, the writers, according to the representative. Uh, is that sufficient for Africa Education Watch? Because you have been calling for an investigation into the matter. Uh, but sacking the, the author and apologizing, has that uh, resolved the matter? Um, well, um, the apology is the, it's, it's only a smoke screen um, because the authors are not the ones responsible for marketing the products. The authors are not the ones responsible for distributing, publishing and marketing the product. It is the publisher. So the responsibility for content in the document is the publishers. The point is that the, the normal practice is publishers su submit their samples of their textbooks to the authority, in this case, NACA, for review and approval or otherwise. And so after queries have been raised about the content of your textbook, what you do is to go, you, you go and then incorporate or you go and review your textbook based on the comments that were made by the committee. And then you bring a revised version. That's what you do. And all, every publisher that has been in this business for two decades appreciates this basic process. So what you take to NACA are just samples. In this case, we have picked up information that there were commercial samples even before the um, there the were commercial quantities even before the samples were taken to NACA. And so even when NACA raised issues about content and asked them to resolve them pending approval, publisher went ahead and then disseminated the commercial quantities that were existing even prior to submission of samples to NACA into the market. And if you know how these publishers, how publishers work, they work closely with the private schools. And so the private schools are one of the largest markets for, for, for publishers. Most of the schools using these books are private schools. So they manage to get private schools to, to impress on parents to buy them. And then parents also bought them. Knowing very well that as far back as August last year, NACA had raised issues with content and have made recommendations which they had to incorporate. But because they had already published commercial quantities prior to submitting samples to NACA, they, were, they thought that they still had to make some profit. This particular action has nothing to do with an apology. It is a deliberate attempt by a profit-seeking entrepreneur to still maximize profits, even when the regulator 
has pointed out that the content of their product was injurious to the interests of the state. This certainly cannot be one that can resolve an apology. And so sanctions must be meted out to the publishers if it is so established that they had the acquiescence, they had an idea, they knew that the, the, the books were in the market, I mean, on the market. Uh, Kofi, who should sanction them? Which organization? Uh, the ministry. This afternoon, we, sub we submitted our, our, our position to the minister. the minister. I had a brief chat with him. And then um, we indicated that it is the ministry that has the power to sanction the publishers. If the publishers are banned for, let's say, three years or five years from publishing, other publishers will take a cue from this behavior because what simply happened was that the profit motive overrode the public interest motive, especially when an agency of state, a regulator responsible for sanctioning textbooks have raised issues about content. You don't go ahead and then ignore that regulator for in the interest of profit. It is never done anywhere. Let me indicate that there are institutional bottlenecks, there are gaps in the system. The Ghana Book Development Council is still at birth, even though it has been in operation for about four decades. It is one of the 23 agencies under the Ministry of Education. Its mandate would have been to ensure that content that goes into publishing books are actually consistent with best practices, ethics, and standards in publishing, and also consistent with a certain Ghana book development policy, which does not exist as at, as, as at now. But government has taken initiative to present a bill to parliament seeking to give the necessary legal and policy framework to the Ghana Book Development Council so that it can find its feet and, and, and play that role of coordinating publication of books. It is not NACA's job to be following content of books on the market. NACA's job is to ensure that books used in the classrooms are sanctioned by it. And so we want to call on the Ministry of Education and, and Parliament to expedite action on the Ghana Book Development Bill so that the Ghana Book Development Council will have the requisite muscles to coordinate and ensure compliance in respect of content of books that are on the market that may not be textbooks necessarily used in the classroom, but are still exposed for use by the ordinary Ghanaian. Right. Thank you, Kofi. Uh, 